Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live. Uh, this is the end of the day, and uh, this is the last entry for today. As you see, the NASDAQ on the signal entry, uh, there is a 3,500, uh, and we are about to hit the target. This is the last entry for today. On the market analyzer, you can see the buy order, entry, target, based on one contract is 1,890, two contract 3,600 at the moment. The market analyzer is a base on one contract and the total amount of 677. Uh, based on the last entry signal, it's not the last uh, it's not the whole day, it's the last entry signal. This is one automated trade. We're going to cover a few automated trades. Uh, this one for the scalper, 15 seconds. Uh, this one here is based on one contract. As you see now, there is a new signal start coming up. And the auto trade will start taking those trades if you want to take a 15 second. And then it, what it does, a plot to the target. If this market is like what you see right now, if the market is trending, is the target is going to be extended. And then the trailing stops, they are based on a fib lines. It's not a, just a dummy a trailing stop. So this is uh, one type of an auto trade. This kind of uh, signal entry have five different automated trades. Uh, ATM, ATM strategy, pullback, re-entry, two different kind of auto trades. So there is five different uh, entry uh, there is five different auto trades and uh, two on the pullback re-entry from the fib line and a three is uh, to the same entry signal but you can use an ATM full automated or ATM strategy this is one type of an auto trade now we're gonna cover a uh, different type of an auto trade uh, this is a uh, uh, our latest auto trade and uh, I'm gonna show a different time frame uh, this is an ES five minutes this is the last trade for today CL one minute perfect no losing trade this is a beautiful doesn't matter how much the the amount no losing trade on the CL this is what I have said from the beginning uh, that every instrument is very unique. As an example, on the on the Nasdaq, this 15 second on the Nasdaq with the signal is amazing. Uh, on the Precision Auto Trade, the CL is amazing. So every instrument uh, uh, shines on a different algorithm. So this is the CL one minute. It is beautiful. No losing trade. Uh, we had a little chop on the ES, and then, of course, today the Feds are talking. Five minutes, it was done with 2,000. Uh, this is the 230 ticks also chart, and it was one, two, three, and it was done. Mm -hmm. And it was done before 2 o'clock. Beautiful. Uh, on this um, uh, ES, three minutes, one trade, and it was done at 1500 beautiful uh, six range if somebody likes the range and this is a CL one trade and it was done beautiful trade uh, hit the target stop all of them are on $1,000 target if the market is going to our direction we stay in this is uh, our 10 second chart which I covered yesterday one two and it was done one and two trade and then it was one small trade here and it was done 1150 on 10 second chart uh, this is the CL 12 range I covered that yesterday as well and also it took it had a little uh, problem at the beginning uh, early this morning and then uh, in the afternoon it was all clear I'm not going to go through all of it, but um, 
uh, this is uh, at the five minutes. Uh, this is the nest at three minutes. CL again the CL twenty ticks. The reason I'm start covering the small uh, uh, time frame because I recognize after many years some traders cannot read the market, and then on the on the smaller time frame, uh, people cannot really screw up that much on their trades and uh, the nasdaq three minutes actually the ti7 did a little better 3500 but i think we have one on the nasdaq on the ti7 for ninja trader eight it was um, a little over five thousand ym beautiful I don't look at PNL uh, 2100, but doesn't matter. I don't look at PNLs. I look at the entries, how the auto trade um, took the trade and where they have taken the trade and how they stay away from the chop market. PNL is irrelevant. If the market is moving, it's fine. When the market is not moving, uh, not, none of them is going to work. You know, so it all depends on the market movement. So I don't pay attention too much to uh, the PNL as much as how this market is breaking down, break even, how the market is taking the trade from the bottom to the top or from the top to the bottom. And this is a beautiful uh, nine range. And look at this. This is from the previous trade, break even, hit it from the bottom, reverse. 4250 and um, it is on a $1,000 trade, 1000 daily target, but if the market going to your direction, um, it's going to stay on that trade. And this is the beauty about it. So this is also, it was a lovely trade on the 9 range, which we have covered yesterday. I was talking about the 9 range. Uh, he has that... Um, Again, this is uh, the smaller time frame uh, on the NASDAQ. One, two, three, and it's done. And um, so it depends how a trader want to manage his trades, really. Uh, I would like to cover uh, another totally different uh, automated trade, the TI7 for Ninja Trader 8. The TI7 for Ninja Trader 8 is a little bit different. Um, it has a 10 different entries and 10 different filters to take out any given instruments. What it works, when you have an auto trade based on one entry, it never works because um, some entries will work very good on the NASDAQ. Some entries will work better on an ES. Some filter will not work on an ES, but it will work on the NASDAQ. And uh, there we go, our gold is about to close. And you can see, if you go back to the video, uh, uh, when the market is trending, we are the only company figure out how to extend the target automatically and the market. Uh, this one here is one algorithm and this one, you see how it's extended the target by itself. This is really clever. On this one here, it does not. This one here, this kind of auto trade, uh, you set the targets and the daily target, the stop loss, the trailing stop. As you know, today is uh, the Fed uh, talking, and before the Fed speaks, usually the market goes flat, so you're going to see some chop uh, in the auto trading. Uh, and uh, today is Wednesday, and uh, everybody was uh, waiting patiently on the Fed. So, as you see how they... Uh, the auto trade was shutting down immediately the trades when it didn't go and uh, there is so it will not be huge losses on the stop loss which is a very a very serious a uh, high time frame is a 520 takes so this is a really uh, serious uh, trade uh, serious uh, time frame and um, we still have one opening um, position 
I mean ES the last moment and this is uh, on the one minute uh, this is the last trade for today anyway uh, ES one minute and uh, this is what is beauty about it that if we notice not the 2000 a small trade no big st big stop losses no and then how we avoided this chop market here and this is what counts it's not the PNL it's not I don't know the performance tomorrow is gonna be plus or minus I cannot predict the future but when I'm looking at the auto trade I want to see if the auto trade stay away from a chop market and then bail out and close this one here is a scalping mood it's a TI7 you can do scalping and you can do swing trading and I'm showing you the total different uh, time frame and uh, this is uh, the three 540 takes and also you can see the chop because of the feds today and then took the trade and it is very important for me also to see when the market was waiting on the feds speak uh, to see if this uh, auto trade can survive a flat market and as you see those small trades today and the outcome when he start talking uh, this is another one also uh, it's not the PNL it is when the market was chop how we uh, were able to survive a chop market and this is what is important you know today you make a thousand tomorrow you make a banana uh, this one here also you can see how we dive in right into the chop before the feds talk and then when the market start trending we nailed it 2640 beautiful and called it off for today the highlight of today was the Nasdaq 12 range when the market is trending you're gonna get a big chunk uh, of the ticks uh, because it's a 12 range it's a very serious very small stop loss on the 12 range it's a very small stop loss on the 12 range and then um, and then um, uh, take one short one short and it hit took the whole trend here and that was beautiful took started from here pull back close down re-enter the market taking it all the way down exit exactly where it's supposed to be to the bottom of this bar and then the market is finished it is a beautiful trade it's not the 5000 it's the way it handled uh, the trades that's what is matter the same story on an eight range ym you can see the chop waiting on the feds to speak and then when the market start trending we hit perfect entry perfect exit 2600 so when we are using a higher time frame we clean some of this noises in the market and when we are using a smaller time frame when the market is flat this is an example of a CL it is 49 second CL and you can see the trades for today beautiful beautiful break even and then hit it it was easy uh, trades on the CL base on 49 second and um, this is also ES five minutes 2200 a uh, 12 range ES 1500 ES 14 second Look at this baby it was a chop here beautiful small trade small losing trade perfect 14 second so no matter how slow the market is or how flat the market is you're gonna chase this market this is the difference when there is an accuracy in the auto trade or when you are using a dummy indicator to auto trade you will be paying the price I mean you know when you sit in a red light between a Pinto and a Ferrari I don't need a brainer to guess which one is gonna smoke which one so 
uh, in 2021, education is very important, guys. Auto trade by itself is not good enough. Trading manually is no longer um, capable of doing this because the market is going very fast, very tricky. If you don't have many years of experience and trading manually, you can take a big hit in it. But uh, my, my advice is knowledge in conjunction with the auto trade. Again, folks, auto trades by itself, no matter where this auto trade coming from, whether it's from us or somebody else, auto trade by itself is not gonna do the trick. Knowledge in conjunction with an auto trade, you will have, a, you will have, you start uh, enjoying the market. That's all what I can say. And you start getting relaxed when you understand what's going on in the market, but you cannot just turn, you know, you guys, you know what you see on the commercial that uh, purchasing an auto trade on Sunday and start live trading on Monday does not exist. You know, honest to God, uh, our job is to train you. You know, it's like you have a class with the full students. You have some students get A plus, some people get E. Uh, minus is does not. Uh, is is uh, we we are a tool provider. We're not miracle. And uh, what you do with your tools is on your own. But no matter where you go, folks. Uh, trust me on this. There is no easy. You need to learn how to manage auto trades. You need to learn. If you want to use a smaller time frame today, like on Monday, do you really want to swing trading on Monday? No, you cannot swing trade on Monday. You need to scalp on Monday. Uh, like today, we are waiting on the feds. Do you really want to swing trade the market when you, we are waiting on the feds? No, you need to scalp the market. So those here, those small details, you need to learn how to manage. What is your risk? How much you can afford to lose, how much you can afford to uh, risk, uh, how much you can stomach risk, um, you know. And um, this is a serious matter, guys. It's not a, just a piece of cake. Uh, I'm the opposite uh, of the others. I'm not gonna sit down here and uh, blow air and tell you that. Uh, if you are auto trading, you're gonna be living happily after. No, I will say the way it is. We're not in this uh, uh, marketing business. All what I can say, guys, auto trade conjunction with knowledge. Without knowledge, auto trades are useless. And uh, you will find the auto trades are beautiful things to manage the auto trades, to, to enter for you, to exit for you, to hit the target for you. But you are the guy need to find out when to start the auto trade and when to stop that auto trade and how to manage the auto trade. Those are your job. It is auto trade is nothing but a mechanical. Some are disaster auto trades. Some of them, they are very smart auto trades. We use the latest technology. We use, we update constantly. Uh, we're always uh, trying to find a way to ease out for the traders. Oh, I forgot to show you uh, the scalper. We are testing uh, for a new version on the scalper. Uh, and uh, this is how we are testing uh, the new scalper and uh, as you see, I don't want to go through all of it. As you see, like uh, the YM, and this is a straight out of the box. We are not, we're not optimizing. We're not doing anything. What, are, what we are doing here on this one here, we are testing. Uh, we are uh, trying to come out with an auto trade. You just turn on, turn off, basic. So this is, um, uh, our new project we are working on and um, we'll see uh, I have no idea when it will be released we are extremely busy with uh, some other updates but we are working on testing folks that's all what we have for you today I want to say thank you very much and God bless you all bye for now